National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Houston Texans and the Buffalo Bills under the lights on Monday night. From the home of the Bills since way back in 1973, there's a look at Highmark Stadium just outside of Buffalo, New York. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup, as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Buffalo Bills. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. And we are underway in Buffalo. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. For the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between he is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. They start the drive with Cook. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. On second down, Cook. Nice move at the 40. And they get him down. Ford takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they had three tight ends in on that set. And these guys are punching really well. I use boxing analogies a lot. A lot of coaches have told me that when you line up to run the football, it's 10 fist fights along the line of scrimmage, right? You've got to win your share. These three tight ends, they almost always win their fist fights. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Oh, and that is incomplete. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defender's minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. Allen again here on second and ten. Staying on his feet. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. He's got it with the 15. A big play here for Buffalo. 43 yards. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What, does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. this for field position after the big play inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. And you know what they say? Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. He'll buy some time right. Take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen, 14 yards. And the Bills put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. That's a really good decision right there outside of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to shift from passer to runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You could almost feel the brainwaves firing as he calculates. I think I can win a race to the pylon. And he turns out to be right. Touchdown. And Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. 
So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it was Josh Allen using his legs to polish things off. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So here come the Texans now for their first drive. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Stroud. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. There he goes, left side. Still on his feet. Touchdown, Houston. Devin Singletary, 55 yards. And the Texans are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit with play action and throw you And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. And they're going to get this beyond the 30 before he's taken down. 23 yards on the tuck and run. This guy's proven himself to be one of the best in the NFL. He brings an added dimension to their offense with his ability to read defenses and know when he's able to pull it down and take off and go. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. On play action, Allen, they'll roll him out right. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. He'll get just a yard on the scramble at second down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. These two teams all tied after one. 
Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they're looking at a second down and nine to go. Play action. Now it's Allen. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. Ball start, offense. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that Still play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Now Allen. Going deep for Diggs. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Two things you can do in that situation. Run and punt the football or try and take your shot at getting the first down. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They're going to try and throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And that will force a turnover on downs. And they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll get this down to the 10. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. They run here with Singletary. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. That's caught left side by the tight end, Jordan. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because... He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Touchdown! Take down from four yards out. And the Texans have taken the lead. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. On the return, Deontay Hardy. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. That 7 0 lead of theirs is short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. Don't mark him down at the 39. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. No short of impressive moments for him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield. 
but they never did. On play action, Allen steps away. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 35. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open, and when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. Chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. To the air, Allen. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. If you're going to put quarterback in the NFL, you've got to have great vision and you've got to remain calm when things break down in the pocket. Both of those traits were on display there. He surveys the situation, sees the middle of the field open, so he's just going to step up and take it himself. Very well done there. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback. And they'll begin at the 25. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. Tie ball game. Still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. First and 10, it's Stroud. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Stroud's throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. He finds his target. It's Schultz. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Stroud to the air on first and 10. To the right side and caught by Dell. 
and give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's second down. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's Stroud. And he'll just get rid of it. Not great coverage down in the end zone. He's scanning the field, looking, looking. No one ever came open. So in the end, he makes the best decision and just fires it over the end line. Stroud will look to throw once more. He's in. Touchdown, Houston. C.J. Stroud as the first half is winding down. And the Texans have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the lead is now 21-14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Throwing on first down is Allen, eluding the pressure right. And this one is incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback, I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. A final shot before half for Allen. Escaping the pressure right. Now he fires deep for Shakir. A flag comes in. It's incomplete. And I'm not sure he was still behind the line when he let that one go. Of course, they have the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. So we have reached halftime here. It's the visitors, the Texans, out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. Final adjustments being made for the second half. So with that, we get you back up to Orchard Park and rejoin Brandon and Charles. It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. So here's the Texans' offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Stroud looking to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Brown. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Oh, it's complete. A diving grab there by Brown. 
So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. That penalty is declined. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. They'll run a draw now with Singletary. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with a draw instead pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field. They're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. Oftentimes you can bypass him with a running play. Here's Cameron Johnston now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Pressure comes and the Bills block it. It's picked up. Remember, the ball is live. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. A great effort there. 30 yards. And the Bills are an extra point away from evening this one up. As you well know, every block punt wasn't necessarily a called block. Sometimes the guy just finds his way back there. Doesn't matter. The play happens, and that one turned into six points because they handled it so well after the block. Tyler Bass now for the point after. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. Able to get the pressure, get a paw on it, knock it down, and then go and grab it and take it into the end zone. What a play. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. But Houston's offense taking over again. Play action. Stroud now. And his throw is incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Stroud on third down now. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And out across midfield down to the 45. A very well executed play. It goes for 29 yards. This one was all about clearing space for this play to work because he's got to leak out of the backfield to his right and then angle his way up the field. And a really pretty throw to put it on him and create the big play downfield. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 45-yard line. Singletary here running out of the gun. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 92 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Throwing now is Stroud. And this is going to be intercepted. 
Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Those INTs all sting when you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. It's a pick up of four and it'll bring up second down. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Second and six. Allen now looks to throw. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. From his end zone on third and long, Allen. Well, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly the first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. In his own end zone, it's Allen. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down. And an utter disaster as the ball's going to go over on downs at the two-yard line. Pierce is going backwards as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. A loss of two brings up second and Singletary will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Singletary again, but he will lose yardage here. Back to the four-yard line. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. And I don't think there should be much of a discussion here, but you know how I am. You kick the football, you take the lead. How bold do you want to be in this situation, though? The kick by Fairbairn is good. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. Fairbairn now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. And this is fielded just short of the goal line, but the fair catch means this drive will begin at the 25. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Allen now on first down. Dancing to his left. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movement. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to do what we call flatliner. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. Steps away to his left. Some space down line. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Buying time to his left. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 
for 22 in the first. This is a rarity in the NFL, a 100-yard game on the ground for a quarterback. Even as those passers get more athletic and mobile, we only see about five of these a season. Takes a special set of rush coming, and he's taken down. Jalen Petrie, give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Now Allen throwing on second down, being chased out left. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. And next time, Brandon, I think you might want to consider running it because those defensive backs, they were plastered to the receivers, and they weren't letting up as that play went on. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. Now a nifty footwork. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. And they've got a fourth down now in a game that, to be honest, has been pretty much everything we could have asked for. The kick by Bass is good. And we are all tied here in the final stages. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Texans getting set here to take over again on offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But let's have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And Oliver, that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. Here's Stroud. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Back-to-back -back big plays defensively. First the sack. Now they force the incompletion on third and long. Things looking pretty good for them. And this is where they have to be careful because they've got the momentum going their way. They will be really amped up to get to the quarterback. Look out. Draw, screen, something that can be used against them. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to... Oh, they come after him, and it's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. And that's a touchdown as they broke in our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. Pardon me, as you well know, every block punt wasn't necessarily a call block. Sometimes the guy just finds his way back there. Doesn't matter. The play happens, and that one turned into six points because they handled it so well after the block. Bass on for the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Not only did they block it, the awareness to go and grab it and then take it into the end zone for six points. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. So Stroud and the Texans down by seven, 35 seconds to go. And they've got to travel to full 75 yards and time is obviously a huge factor here. First and 10. Now Stroud. Finding Schultz. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Stroud. Throw over the middle is taken in by Dell. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Meanwhile, Stroud's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. It didn't check off every box. 
but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Stroud to throw it. Taking a shot for Dell here. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And remember now, a field goal does you no good. This is touchdown or bust territory. So they took a late shot for the end zone, but the defense, as they've been all game long, up to the task. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. Stroud looks to throw. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. And now time for one final play that has to be obviously in the end zone. Can't wait to see what they call, but you want to get it to your best player. Sometimes you have to do it by formation, move everyone to one side, and maybe he gets a one-on-one -on -one isolated on the backside. This one came right down to the wire, and CD Day had that one final chance to try to navigate their way into the end zone, but couldn't get it down to avoid the loss. Yeah, and how about the defense there? Because while they had one final look at the end zone, the defense made sure they knew what they were doing on the last play, executed it flawlessly, and no flags. Because remember, if there's a defensive penalty, there's one play left in the game that the offense gets. They didn't allow that to happen. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Buffalo.